there we go. I've got a template file that I used for producing the diecast. Uh, if you can't haven't heard, diecast has been uh, canceled, I guess. Seamus has passed away, so no more diecast. But I figured since I developed these tools and I'm not using them anymore, uh, may as well make them open source and uh, free for anyone to use. It's basically just Blender with some custom scripts. So I'll go through that now. Uh, short version, you change the name, the number up here to the episode number that you're gonna be editing. You paste in your segment timestamps and descriptions here. Um, this is the, the prefix. You shouldn't have to change this once you get it set up. So you just do those things. You hit Alt P or you press the, the little run button up here, this run button and uh, it crunches the numbers in a couple seconds. And there we are. So you see the number up here has changed to 333. It's added all of the topics in here uh, in a little box. And it's changed the, uh, the source audio file to 333. Now, I haven't got a way to easily reload this, but I think if you sit, oh, hit open sound, and hit diecast 333 open sound that will that will update it it's actually updated it just doesn't reload it for whatever reason until um until you do that or you just close the file and reopen it so but i didn't want to do that because it would break the tutorial so here's the the audio you can see the audio waveform if you ever need to edit something or find a special moment where you, you were doing something or you want to edit it out uh, this assumes that you've got your audio already edited but you can edit it in blender it's not a great audio editing tool but it will work and uh, then the last thing I do before I hit render is I go through and I just check and adjust these if they're a little bit too too low. Um, any any of these that have two lines, if it has three lines, it'll center it. If it has two lines for whatever reason, it doesn't center it up so correctly. So I just shift click on all these, check all this. Yep, that one, uh, that one's fine. That one's fine. That one's a little too big. We'll deal with that one later. And the outro. All right, so I, I shift click on all those. So I've got all those selected. Then you can alt drag location Y and just uh, kind of adjust this. So it's about centered and that will have adjusted. If you hold down alt, that'll have adjusted all of them. So now they're all centered up. They all look good. We got to go back and fix this one. This one, I'm just going to adjust the, the text size down a little bit. And uh, you don't have to worry about this messing up the template because when you're done, uh, you delete all this stuff and when you regenerate it, it regenerates it again with the correct font size and everything so uh, this never sticks um, and that's it and then you go to view sequence render animation you can hit control f12 but it goes a little bit slower and uh, that will render that out it's rendering in a separate window but you can see in the background uh, you can see here that it is rendering quite fast uh, much faster than real time and that is because I have the FPS set to 2. Now you can change this to whatever you want in the code. Alright, so that's that's the, the short answer, right? It'll render out and, uh, and Bob's your uncle, so then you'll have your video. Um, now for some setup stuff. So obviously you're not going to be producing the diecast, you'll be producing your own podcast or whatever video. If you want a video with like headers in there or something, uh, you can do your own thing that way or however you want to do it. If there's this is basically set up for a video that's got timestamps already set up and you just want some text to appear on the screen so that there's something happening on the screen instead of just the title uh, you know splash screen for an hour and a half or whatever however long it lasts so that's how I do that but if you're going to be setting up your own then you're going to want to change a few things first you need to go in and change the logo so here's the logo I've got it pointed to the 2022 logo uh, you load in whatever logo you want so that'll be here source you just open that up uh, change data files is where you click you click on that you load in whatever your image is save the file and then that won't ever get updated the, the script doesn't change that so it should just leave that alone and it'll be fine uh, the next thing is you want to adjust where your background text is now this is living right now at a, a specific location because the diecast splash screen has got this little empty space in the corner for the, the episode number um, so you're going to want to update that also, uh, I'm not sending this packed with text formatting, so you're going to want to update your text right now. Uh, it's just the default Blender one, but you want to update your text there. And then whatever changes you make to this, you also want to make to this one because 
This is the foreground white. You can see the color is white here. And this is the background black that's been blurred a couple times. And again, any changes you make to these shouldn't need to be changed. It's going off of this title here, episode number and episode number background. Um, so if you want this little black here, I'll just turn this off for a second. If I can, uh, can I do that while it's rendering? No, I can't. I have to abort the render. Uh, stop rendering. Blender, stop rendering. No, I, I was joking. You didn't actually need to render that all out. All right, there we go. Uh, so is that going to hide it? Oh, no, no. We're going to have to hide that one. There we go. Okay, so now you can see that the, the uh, blur there is, is gone. So there's like this little drop shadow behind the text. And so if you want to uh, unhide all that. There we go. So if you want that little black blur drop shadow, fine. If not, you can just delete all three of these and, uh, and it'll go away. And this is the white in the foreground. So whatever changes you make to this font or whatever, just make sure this is the same for both of them. Uh, adjusting the size, adjusting the location. And uh, again, the script won't touch that. All it touches is the, the text in the effects script itself. And the last thing you'll want to change is the audio prefix. So this tells it what to use for the name of the audio file. And you probably want to change the suffix too if you're not using an aug. This is the OGG um, sequence name. Yeah, sequence file path. So that's going to be .ogg and this is going to be .ogg. So if you're using an MP3, just change that to MP3 and then it'll point to an MP3 file and away you go. And uh, this will also set the name for the output video file. So this one is diecast333. Uh, so it just puts those together and, and now puts the video file. Obviously you can change it to whatever you want, but that's how it's set up. So once you get those things set up, you should be all set to go. Uh, if you want this to be a different, if you want this description text to be a different font, you can also change that down here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. You can poke around in the in the Python. It's, it's pretty straightforward. There's not that much, it's only, you know, less than 75 lines of code. So you can update that. Uh, and you know, 12 of it is just this description text. So anyway, so that's the, the basically the long and the short of it. Uh, short is, you know, you change the number here, paste in your description text here and, uh, and hit go, uh, you know, push run here or alt P and uh, it'll execute it and uh, generate this stuff. And then when you're done, just be sure that before the next time you run the script to delete all this stuff, because otherwise it'll it'll generate over the top. Actually, we can show that off. So we wanna, you know, like get rid of all this stuff in the middle and it automatically creates a little gap in between them and uh, parses the stuff. So you got like an hour long sequence. So like if we say the Ren Ferris starts at the beginning here, Alt P, and it's gonna generate this thing over the top uh, of this. So you just want to delete all this stuff beforehand, all of this stuff, so that uh, when it generates, it's fresh and it doesn't have two set on top of each other. And uh, so yeah, so that's the that's how it goes. Um, I hope you find this tool useful. It, it saved me a ton of time, uh, you know, setting up all the little titles and changing the episode number every time and all that stuff. I would forget. So uh, now I just you know set up this whole script and now you just run the script. And it takes care of all the details for you. It does all the busy work. So I really like it. Hope you like it too. Have a good day.